Yo, how's it going everybody? My name is Armando and welcome back to a different two video. So guys, this will be a very quick video, nothing crazy, no crazy edits. It's just basically about the new update that came out for different tier two. So this one is honestly very, very controversial. At the same time, I'm not too mad about it because honestly, you need in order for a game to survive, they need some some sort of way to make money. Because you know, you, nothing can be done for free. You know, it's it's, it's impossible. It's, it's nearly impossible to do something for free. Servers gotta be paid. The man has to be paid for his time. So I understand why gold member was added to the frontier too but what many people are complaining about at this time is the fact that the goal member is exactly like the goal member from death frontier 3d you know uh you can now sign up for gold membership which gives all your characters a boost to exp and looting while turning their name gold in addition you receive 200 plus credits for each month you subscribe so many people again have a bit of a problem because in death frontier 3d everyone's like oh i don't want to buy a gold membership why do i have to buy something that not only gives a huge advantage to to that player but on top of that makes it just very easy for them to loot easy stuff stuff better stuff but what you guys felt to re to kind of notice here is the fact that it doesn't say things like 3d in 3d it is well known that non-go members cannot and i'll repeat again cannot lose level 120 weapons all right well here as long as far as i can tell it doesn't have any limitations on whether or not you can loot legendaries or golds or whatever because again i don't play this game as much as 3d but that's the fear of everybody they said you know i mean did say it, it wasn't going to be a pay to win game and now he has gold member and now everybody's pretty much a little pissy in the chat which i understand we don't want a repeat of death frontier 3d but i want to kind of bring this up real quick here's a quick edit when someone says you know death frontier 3d needs a hard reset but no one's ready for that because you know nobody wants to lose all their information and work and everything and I wanted to make a quick well not a quick but a long 10 minute video of why Death Frontier 2 would be the hard reset that everyone's been asking for this is why that the past couple of months has just been nothing but updates from the admin and you know I got to give the man a little bit of credit here you know he's trying here guys he's actually trying he's trying to give the game more content you know more more things where people can actually go in there and explore you know he's adding all this you know gear uh different ways of you know engaging in the game uh, different ways of how to interact with the zombies with the community and of course it's going to be hard to get this game up to the 22,000 active players if i last remember that it had but if he does things right, it should go in the right direction. Let's take a look at the Death Frontier 2 general. And again, the community is going crazy right now. Everybody's like, oh, go member, go member, this and that. Oh, it's the same thing. Pay to win, blah, 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 blah. It's, oh, we're going to repeat again of 3D. And honestly, again, I'll repeat it. I don't think it's going to be the same thing as 3D, which I honestly can't see a pay to win. Yes, those people will have better chances to loot things. Yes, those people will level up even faster. But at the same time, is still a grindy kind of game as long as he doesn't make the same mistakes from 3d i feel like that frontier 2 is still on a non-pay to win it's just my opinion guys this isn't facts it's just what i think of course i could be very wrong in this you guys can discuss it in the in the comment section below but honestly i feel like this update here was just very very interesting you know so again guys is this pay to win you know is gold membership going to ruin the way that frontier 2 is going like i said in my opinion he didn't put a limitations of whether or not people can loot the same things as gold members. That's the way I'm looking at it, okay? Like I said, there's so many, there's a big community out there. You guys can post your opinions, your facts, or whatever you got to say. But so far, I haven't seen anything that is, you know, pay to win, game breaking. Something that will give the person a huge advantage if that person spends $10 to $40 on the game, alright? So far, we are on a good track here. Good try. All right, guys, that's all I got to say. Quick video. This is Armando signing out. I'll see you guys very soon. I'm still working on an announcement video that I'll be posting today, if anything. And this is Armando signing out. See you guys very soon. Bye. Take care.